Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Walmart started getting a ton of heat yesterday morning when people began noticing the section on their website for Halloween costumes for plus-size women was called, quote, fat girls' costumes. That's pretty brutal. So, first off, Walmart, you suck. Secondly, even though it was brutal, it still took Walmart at least three hours to fix it. A spokesman for Walmart says, quote, We first heard about it this morning. Our team's immediately engaged to remove it. It is unacceptable, and we apologize. The theory going around is that it might have been a joke by Walmart's web developers while they were building the Halloween section of the site, and no one remembered to change it before it went live. Geniuses. After months of rumors about every remotely plausible actor in Hollywood, Marvel has finally chosen its Doctor Strange. And as it turns out, it's the guy everybody expected in the first place, Benedict Cumberbatch. It's not a totally done deal yet, contract negotiations are set to begin, but it's looking pretty good. This would be Cumberbatch's most high-profile role to date, following supporting parts in blockbusters like The Hobbit and Star Trek Into Darkness, and a recent career in historical dramas such as 12 Years a Slave and The Imitation Game. He's still best known for Sherlock, though. An Illinois teenager is a multi-millionaire after her father gave her what turned out to be a winning lottery ticket for her birthday. Well, it finally paid off to have a dad who's a tightwad. An investigation has revealed that hospitals are generating new income by creating new ways of billing patients. What's that? You say you want sheets and pillows? All right, from our strange but true file, a man in Colorado ran over his own head. Fortunately, he's going to recover. He was backing up his van when his cigarette fell down his jacket. When he jumped out of the van, the vehicle knocked him down and ran him over. When are we ever going to wake up to the dangers of tobacco? A new product is on the market this week that allows you to test at home for colon cancer rather than having a traditional colonoscopy. No more personal invasions of your body by absolute strangers. Unless you're into that sort of thing, of course. Mama June from Honey Boo Boo could lose her kids because apparently she's dating a guy who spent 10 years in prison for molesting one of her daughters. Nice. You know, I'm starting to think there might be an itty bitty downside to putting uneducated rednecks up on a pedestal. Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Martin have broke up. Chris figured he could avoid the hassle of a relationship and just download nude pictures like the rest of us. The Kardashian family claims Lamar Odom is missing. Uh, I know this sounds crazy, but has anyone thought to check out the local crack house? In a town in southern France, police arrested 14 people who had been harassing pedestrians while dressed as clowns and armed with guns, knives, and baseball bats. That's strange. I wasn't aware that the French knew anything about baseball. Vladimir Putin has announced that he's moving Russian clocks backward to permanently put them on what's called in Russia winter time. Why not? He's moved everything else about Russia backwards. Thanks, everybody. Make sure to check out Being Frank with Frank D'Angelo, live on NSS Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern.